And I'll wonder <laughs> that's awesome. And then speaking about the elephant and then the right first and then in the right direction. I'm quickly gonna shoot them this way because I think we'll get a better view of them. I don't know how many there were at herd. So let's see. Ah, uh, there's one or two in here. There we go. Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks like a whole herd. Um, they are moving. I'm just trying to see. You know what? Let's have a view from here first. And we'll watch them. It looks like they're moving down towards the drainage line, towards the Mulawati. Now, they might be a little bit little bit nervous and I'll tell you why let me just try reposition or position rather and um, and I'll tell you why they might react differently to us sorry about the angle there Seb is that okay yeah, that's fine. Uh, a number of elephant around here that is wonderful that is such a nice surprise so as I was saying I think they might be a little bit nervous and the reason for that is because of the windy conditions we are experiencing at the moment. I spoke about this this morning. Some of the antelope, they, they were all hiding in the thickets. Now with these windy conditions, the animals are a bit nervous because they can't hear or smell as well. So those are senses that they rely on a lot, especially the elephant. So they... Um, and they do react a little bit differently when it is windy. But we'll take our time. Sit here quietly and they should relax. I think they've relaxed now. I'm just going to try roll forward a little bit for you, Seb. I think we might be able to get a better view. Let me just roll forward through here. That's a nice view. Now, Tucker, who's five years old, good afternoon, Tucker. Hope you're having a lovely day or evening, wherever you are. And you asked, would the elephants go into the water and play if there are crocodiles around? Tucker, most definitely. We've seen we've seen those elephants at Chitra Chitra Dam when they've gone and swum in the in the dam and played around in the water. Actually, I'm going to just reposition again for us. Sorry everyone, There's, these elephants are moving around a lot. Uh, Seb, I'm going to try to go this side for the light. So Tucker, the elephants go into that dam and they swim and they play. So it just shows you that they don't mind the, uh, the crocodiles, but they are cautious. There we go. There are a few elephants around here for us. Is that okay, yes, Sam? Much better. So, as I was saying, Tucker, yeah, the elephants still go into the water, um, even if there are crocodiles around, but they will be cautious, they will be careful. Oh, watch these elephants going down this embankment down into the drainage line. I was hoping they'd hang around but they look at them crossing through there. Wonderful. Well, Sinak, uh, your question, I just touched on that um, with regards to the wind and, and you were asking about the sensors and uh, as I was saying it does definitely make a difference and the animals are a little bit more um, aware and alert when it is windy because the wind will affect their senses. They can't hear or smell as well as they usually do when it's not windy. Oh, that's a wonderful view. Look at that little one. <laughs> now Natalie, you asked if elephants can get sunburnt, and especially the young elephants. Now, Natalie, I don't, I don't think so. I've never ever heard of elephants being sunburned. Um, I'm, 
I'm not sure. I wonder. Look, if they were really exposed, I don't think so. Natalie, I, just now that I think about it, I'm thinking of hippo. I've heard of hippo being sunburnt, being too exposed in very harsh conditions during droughts, and them being sunburnt, but not elephant. Not elephant. I don't think, I think the elephant's skin, that dark gray, thick, fairly thick hide, even at a young age. I don't think they have anything to worry about regarding sunburn. Let me reverse for you a little bit there, Seb. Let's get that branch out the way. Is that a bit better? There we go. Isn't this a beautiful view? On the edge of a drainage line. I love these, these thicker areas and the drainage lines. There's always something going on. Uh, you never know, you could bump into leopards moving through here. There will be a few antelope species. The bird life is generally a lot better. And, um, and also elephant. Now these elephants are most likely moving through here because the vegetation is still so good. And the reason for that is because the, the water table takes a lot longer to disappear down here. Um, this is where all the water would move through during the rainy season and these dry riverbeds or dry drainage lines when it rains heavily then you'd most likely get them flowing a little bit but otherwise the just the water table will be very low so animals will can come down and even find water that we've seen the elephants digging in this riverbed before um, to find water and they have found water and then the vegetation is obviously a lot better and a lot greener around here still even now So lovely and peaceful just sitting watching these elephants. Riti, you were asking if the baby elephants become, when they become independent, do they move on or do they stay within the herd? They stay within the herd completely. Sometimes, Riti, what will happen is the, the young males will move off, most likely. Once they reach a certain age, they kind of get pushed out of their herd a little bit. And the reason for that is they then have to go off and probably meet up with a big dominant bull. And he will teach them how to be successful. How to look for females, where to find the, fo the, the best food. And often you find these young bulls moving with the older males. And um, and then they it's once they reach full maturity. Look at all of them moving through there. That's lovely. Once they reach full maturity, then they will um, try and mate with females. But the young females, as they grow up, they just stay within the herd. The herd is basically a large family group. And they're moving straight through that drainage line. I wonder if we can't go around quickly. We might get another view of them from up above. Let's go have a look. Shall we? Shall we move, Seb? All <laughs> right. Okay. Well, apparently we've got a wonderful catch-up clip of some elephants playing in the Mulwati. So let's have a look at that quickly while I try and reposition the vehicle. <laughs> 